many of us youth, we try to, when we get rejected or we retreat to the bad stuff, we retreat to drugs, we retreat to sex, we retreat to alcohol, we retreat to, 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 to gang banging, we retreat to Twitter, to Skype. Uh, 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 to Facebook to throw up all our, 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 our problems. We, we retreat to suicide because we don't think we ain't got nothing. But God wants you today to know that there is a good place to retreat to. It is not just the church, it's me. Because sometimes when you don't know who you are, you need to find out the person who created you. When you don't have an identity, find out the person who is the master of identity crises. Find the person who can reconfigure you and, and transform you and make you who you born to be. Because the question most youth have, have is identity. Who am I? And who am I meant to become? No, so many of us, we go through this identity crisis, especially in our teen years, because we don't know who we are. And we, and we go to cheerleading and we go to sports. We go to the gang bangers. We go to the homosexuals. We go to the geek squad, the chess club, all these clubs in the school trying to find our identity. And we still feel isolated. But sometimes God allows you to be isolated so that you can seek him. Because no one makes you, it's he that makes you. It's not the world that defines you, it's he that defines you. If you don't like the way you've been born, be born again.